everyone. I've just stumbled on an interesting product from a company called Rydeen. Now this is very developmental. We're looking at Android in a car mirror right now and believe it or not, it's functional. So I thought this was rather curious. We're told that this may come on the market 2013 availability, but also the company's just using it to learn about Android integration in the car. So, you know, you may be just looking at a silly, wacky technology right now that uh, will never see the light of day. Another interesting product that I stumbled upon at Rydeen is this mirror right here. And by their own admission, they're not looking to put Android in a mirror. But uh, possibly you will see something uh, like this where we have a bit more friendly interface. They tell me that they're aiming to put a uh, fully functional independent 3G unit um, in this car with tethering support. And finally, here's an interesting doubled-in head unit from the same manufacturer. Um, this is running Android 2.2 right now. Uh, this is intended to be brought to market, and uh, the manufacturer isn't sure whether they're aiming for gingerbread or ice cream sandwich, but um, again, we're looking at a pre-production unit, and I'm just playing around with it. I'm going to let you come along for the ride and see what it looks like. So I don't believe this is tethered to anything right now. I don't believe there are any active connections. But, you know, one thing I noticed is you have access to all the car inputs right here. Um, I believe we can flip on a rear camera too. Um, perhaps not. Another thing I wanted to show you about this is we have aux in, USB, um, full SD and micro SD with an adapter. Um, here's another micro SD card slot for maps. Um, DVD and CD right here. So, inter interesting product in the uh, Android car head unit market. Cheers.